what is up guys this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel we have installed the wrath os official build on our redmi note 8 which is officially available for a lot of devices which includes poco f1 redmi note 7 pro redmi note 4 and some other devices too i'll provide a link in the description for all the official supported devices in the description so if your device is in the in the list you can go and download this build right now on your device why this build is great is this build is great in the terms of performance in the terms of customization it's good for gaming for battery backup for everything else this build is quite good i'm using it from some time i didn't got any issues at all and i'm fully satisfied after using this build note that i'm not saying that this is just great and awesome room ever but yes this is one of the good custom rooms available there on the internet which you can install on right now on your device if you're using any device from the above or also nowadays gsa option is available so if you have a device which is not supported for this you can use the gsa but i'll not recommend you because gsa is not stable enough right now so now let's get started let's check out some great things about rathos so guys first of all let me show you the about info this is wrath os v 1.2 official build which is based on android version 10 and i have installed it on my redmi note 8 gingo and we got the august latest august security patch the home screen looks like the same i can install the pixel uh, i can install the pixel launcher i have installed the pixel launcher because of the mini google apps package swiping right you can see all the same things like the google pixel feed and some things like that if you talk about the quick settings there are some great options available to customize like dark theme screencast we have the gaming mode we have the music tile and some things like that if you have noticed i have the fps info tile option missing from here which was expected so which means you cannot get the whole data regarding how much fps you are getting right now especially while playing PUBG or some things like that so FPS info tile is missing from here maybe some other tiles are also missing but these kind of things are still good and still worthy and if you talk about the performance and the scrolling speed this is very smooth uh, at the launcher it didn't give me any lags yet till now from some time it's quite smooth and talking about the status bar icons looking fine with the battery backup is quite good right now the battery is at 21% and I'll show the graph also now let's move on to some other things okay as i already shown you my scrolling speed which is in this build right now on my device and this scrolling speed is almost same in other custom rooms or uh, sorry in other devices let's take a look at the geekbench score for redmi note 8 if you're a user of redmi note 8 let's take a look at the geekbench score the geekbench score is not that much impressive but not that much bad 312 is the single core score and 1300 is the multi core score single core score is quite impressive that we got the average 307 and now we got 312 it's quite impressive but if you talk about the multi core comparison average our device got 1300 and now we got 1300 so this is just like the same that's why the performance is also same like the stock MIUI but yes this is AOSP AOSP in the terms of performance is always far better than MIUI if you're a MIUI lover you should try out AOSP in the terms of performance kind of things MIUI is great but AOSP in the terms of performance you cannot beat anything if we talk about the Magisk, I'm using the latest Magisk 20.4. I was expecting that safety net status should pass and these kind of things, but unfortunately, the CTS profile is false. As you can see, CTS profile should be true, but in this case, CTS profile is false. So maybe you can try the Magisk 20.3 if you want to, or it all depends upon you. If you're a gaming kind of lover and want to use this you want to use this build for gaming yes you can use because the room is quite smooth and you can play the PUBG in very much good things you can use the HDR ex extreme mode you can unlock and if you don't know how to unlock the extreme mode how to play in HDR I already made a video on that you can go and check it out everything else is perfectly fine I have used PUBG for approximately one hour yesterday and 30 minutes today and I didn't got any heat 
heating issues at all it was quite great it was quite comfortable after using this thing and if you talk about the battery backup it's super great because i didn't got extra battery drainage at all everything was super fine super great you should try out this build if you want to play games and some things like that but still it all depends upon you for hardcore gamer i'm not sure about that i just played this game for some time and i didn't got any extra lags or whatever else no frame drops nothing else have a quiz was not great but this build is good in the terms of gaming not a gaming room but still it's very good in the terms of gaming if you want to play games if you want to check out my battery stats my battery stats are not that much great as you can see but still i have used pubg for 23 minutes uh, according to them after reboot and after reinstalling this build to check out some new kind of things this is my battery stats i didn't got extra battery drainage and the best part is i didn't got any any heating issue at all while playing pubg which is one of the great things yes if you use your device and you plug into your charger and then you play games you might get some different results but according to my opinion it's quite good you can see my design battery capacity current battery capacity and charge cycles now let's take a look at Wrath OS features. It has all the same features which have which all other custom rooms have like the MSM Extended, Havoc OS, RR and some other things. Some other custom rooms might have better features and extra features rather than this room but this room still has some cool features which has the Rage Hub like this. This is the customization menu where you have a lot of customization features like the themings, like the status bar customizations, quick settings, notifications, button lock screen, gestures and miscellaneous these kind of things you get in here about customizations themes you can customize the system theme to these kind of themes light google dark solarized dark baked green choco x or pitch black whatever theme you like you can choose that one and you have the fonts customization features like this and one of the best part is you have the hide notch option you have the hide navigation bar pill option so you don't get any extra space behind the keyboard also these two kind of things are perfect the buttons customization lock screen and if you talk about the gestures we have very interesting gestures options available we have the full screen gestures with a prevent ringing option jump to camera we have the three finger to take screenshot gestures option is available too adaptive playback and playback control these kind of gestures options you got here miscellaneous have the gaming mode smart pixels at all all these same things like other custom rooms these were the things i just wanted to share with you if you want to use this build you should try out this build for sure if you want proper stability and these kind of things in battery backup, no heating issue in PUBG and these kind of things. These opinions are from my side. I am not sure about your opinions. Maybe mine and your opinions are different. So try at your own risk if you want to. These were the things I just wanted to share with you. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to share the video at all. This was all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.